This is KTVO's Good Morning Heartland. Welcome back. Dash for Disabilities run is right around the corner and Good Morning Heartland is on the go. Samantha Croy is live with what you need to know before you lace up your running shoes. Coming to you live, this is Good Morning Heartland on the go. Thanks, Ella, and good morning, Heartland. I am outside the ATSU, the School for Health Management, and we are talking about the Dash for Disabilities. I am joined here by Christy, who is kind of organizing the event here and volunteering her time. So we're going to talk a little bit about that. It is next week. So you want to talk just kind of why you get involved and you come back. This is the second year. So why you kind of come back and, and join and help out every year. Absolutely. Um, it's a really important cause to me. My daughter has autism and I feel like disability awareness is really important in this community. Everybody really bands together really well. So I wanted to put together an event that could bring the whole community together and raise awareness for disabilities. And do you want to just talk a little bit about signups and registration because it is next week but they are taking registration up until the event. Do you want to talk a little bit about that and how yeah. people can go about uh, signing up? Yeah, absolutely. You can register up until the event starts. Next Thursday is the event on the 19th, and the race starts at 6.30, but packet pickup begins at 5.30, and if you want to stop by and register then, that's great. Or you can stop by the Thompson Campus Center or the School of Health Management on the ATSU campus and pick up a flyer to register. The fee is $18, and it comes with a t-shirt. I'm wearing last year's shirt, but this year's shirt is going to be a bright green color with dark blue writing. It's really cute. I can't wait to get them in. And now do they need anything as far as, I know other races kind of require an ID or like a waiver has to be signed. Is there anything like that that people need to worry about bringing and making sure that they have at the time of registration? You don't need to bring anything except for some running shoes. We'll have a waiver for you to sign when you get here, but that's it. All right. And kind of how has it gone in the past? I have heard very uh, positive things. It's been very successful. So you want to talk a little bit about kind of how the community bands together and kind of supports this event. Yes, um, we last year we had between 35 and 40 runners. It was a really successful event. We had a lot of sponsors that chipped in and really helped us out. This year, we already have 40 runners registered and the registrations are still coming in. So we've already surpassed our number from last year. All right, well, and it is taking place kind of right across the street. We couldn't get onto the property, uh, but it is very close, not too far and the countdown has begun, so definitely make sure uh, to check it out and to register. Also, you mentioned earlier that you don't have to sign up to make the run and kind of go about doing that, but you can just come on out and cheer on uh, the runners and donate as well to the cause it is going to uh, the disabilities organization, correct? Yep, so money will go there and sounds good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, it's a beautiful day. Hopefully it's nice on Thursday as well. But